This is your electronic scribe, basically an iPod Touch in a game controller. When you come to the judging chair, you'll find it's already set up uh, like this, waiting for your judge number. If somebody's already been judging before you, you may see their judge number in there, uh, and you can typically just enter your judge number and it will erase the old one. Uh, so in this particular contest, my judge may have been 202. I enter my judge number, then I select the round. It's very important that you get the round correct. So we'll go ahead and say that we're judging round two. If you're in doubt, feel free to check with the scorekeeper. They'll let you know what round you're judging. Click done. Selected judge, Peter Vogel. It reads your judge name to you. Confirm that it is in fact you. Uh, again, make sure you get your judge number correct. If it tells you a name other than who you are, uh, check with the scorekeeper to get your actual judge number. Uh, next, you select the class. Uh, so I'll go ahead and judge masters here. And all you have to do is just scroll so that the class that you care about is um, uh, highlighted in the center bar. The, you'll notice the rest are faded. And then we'll just click the arrow to go to the next step. Select contestant. So it tells us to select a contestant. So we see here the list of contestants. We can again scroll through it. And we just uh, go to the particular contestant uh, that's ready to fly. And uh, then you simply click scoring. Ready to score for pilot Patrick Harris. One, take off sequence. Ten. So it's reading to you the name of the pilot to confirm who's flying, and then you're ready to score. So scoring is very simple. Uh, as you see a defect, we start at 10. As you see a defect, you simply click uh, either the A button for minus one, Nine. or the X button for minus half, 8.5, uh, and uh, continue as you see defects um, in the maneuver. When the maneuver is complete, you click the trigger here to go to the next maneuver. Half clover leap, two slash four PT roll up, one roll from inverted on horizontal, exit inverted, 10. So it reads the maneuver to you. Again, we start at 10 until we observe a defect. And again, we can score. A lot of people uh, just use the X key uh, for minus half point all the time, and they hit it a couple times if they want to subtract one point, uh, that sort of thing. And again, pull the trigger to go to the next maneuver. Stall turn, full roll up, two slash four P tier roll down, upright exit, 10. And uh, for kind of advanced use, the left hand side um, has some um, buttons that you can use on the controller here. If you see something go completely wrong, they flop a stall turn or something like that, uh, you can just directly zero the maneuver and uh, then go to the next maneuver. Two slow rolls reverse, 10. If something distracts you, I mean, using this, typically your eyes shouldn't come off the plane, uh, so not observed should be pretty rare. But if something distracts you, something goes wrong, uh, you can mark a maneuver as not observed with the left button here. Half square loop, two slash two PT roll up, exit inverted, 10. And what you see it did there, it actually marked it as not observed and went immediately to the next maneuver. The assumption is if you're marking something as not observed, then you need to go immediately to the next maneuver. Um, if you get something wrong, Nine, six. Uh, you hit the button too many times, whatever, and you just want to reset back to 10 and, and make some corrections, you can do that with the upper button ten. back to 10. Nine, 8.5. And pull the trigger. Figure Z, two slash four P tier roll on 45 degree line, exit upright, 10. If you get ahead of yourself for some reason, um, you ten, accidentally ten, hit the trigger off. twice, roll anything up, like that. Roll up and down. 10. You can always go back to the previous maneuver with the left hand trigger. Figure Z, 2 slash 4P tier roll on 45 degree line, exit upright, 10. And if we go back uh, a couple maneuvers, you'll see that the score that you had in there before is still there. Again, the score that you had there before will always still be there uh, for you as you go through. So as we get through the, the maneuvers, I'm just going to go. 4P tier roll on 45 degree line, exit upright, 10. I'm just going to go quickly through all of these. Humpty Buck W roll up, triangular loop, base at bottom, with half rolls in all legs, exit inverted, 10. Stall turn, 2 slash 4 PT roll up, 4 PT roll up, top hat, 2 slash 4 PT rolls in up and down lines, 1 negative snap roll over top, 10. You'll notice if the plane is getting through the maneuvers faster than Siri can read the maneuvers to you, um, we do 
um, cut her off and go to the next uh, maneuver read. Pump, pump, pull, pull, push, eight sided loop, inverted entry exit, full roll, half outside loop, 10, reverse Cuban eight from top, one, one, figure six, half roll down, T reverse knife edge, exit inverted, 10, three slash four, figure eight, full inside loop, up, two, one slash two, turn spit, landing sequence, 10. So after the last maneuver, the, which is course landing except in the uh, FAI classes, nine. Um, you pull the trigger one more time. Maneuvers complete. Review scores. Review scores. Pull right trigger to save. Maneuvers complete. Review scores. Uh, so at this point, you can scroll through the maneuvers. You see the not observed that we caught there, um, the zero, etc. If you want to make any corrections, just click on the maneuver. It takes Ten. you back to the main scoring interface. Nine. You Eight can make your corrections, click save, review and you're back scores. to the review right with the corrected score. When you're happy with it, you can either click the save button or you can click the trigger twice. Saves the maneuvers to the scoring computer and um, gets you back to the contestant selection. You're ready for the next pilot. Uh, score saving is typically that fast or faster. Uh, this is actually my demo contest, which is hosted um, in a cloud. So um, when the um, web connection is very fast. Um, it's comparable to what we have at a contest, uh, otherwise it's a little bit slower. Every once in a while, um, two pilots landing at about the same time, all four judges entering their scores, uh, your save may be a little bit slower, but uh, typically it should be pretty quick. It'll always get you back. Now, if anything goes wrong, um, don't panic. Uh, all of the scores are always uh, recorded on the device. So, for example, let me go ahead and go um, to another pilot. Um, we'll go into scoring for him. Ready to score for 989. 8.8, seven. Half clover lead, 2 slot, 9, 8.5. Stall turn, 9, 8.2 slow rolls revert, not 8. Half square loop, 2 slash 2 PT roll up, exit inverted, 10. Okay, so I'll just simulate something going wrong, and we wind up um, restarting everything, select going back uh, to select the contestant. I've entered my judge number. Let's we'll just go all the way back. Enter or scan judge number and select round and class. Pull trigger when ready. So I'll go ahead and put the same judge number in. Same round. Selected judge, Peter Vogel. Same class. Select and I'll select the um, previous contestant, which was Patrick Harris, and we'll go to scoring. Ready to score for pilot Patrick Harris. One, takeoff sequence, 8.5. And you'll see that his scores are still there, uh, still on the device. Scores are always stored on the device by ju judge and round number. Uh, so they can be resaved, uh, and... Um, the scorekeeper also knows how to get the scores in a number of uh, alternate ways. We store it redundantly on the device as a text file as well as in a database. Um, so everything is stored on the device uh, for recovery if anything should go wrong. Uh, typically things don't go wrong, but uh, if the scorekeeper catches something having gone wrong, we can always go into the device and um, resave uh, the scores. That's pretty much the, uh, the scribe. The one thing to be aware of, uh, these things are somewhat sensitive to thermal shutdown, particularly if they're left in the sun. So uh, when you're judging, as much as possible, keep them in the shade. And um, when you're done with your judging turn and you're um, setting the controllers down for the next judge uh, to pick up, be sure to set them down in the shade. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we do provide a uh, headphone that you can just hook over your ear, uh, but if you prefer you can always bring your own uh, earbuds and they'll just plug in here and you just unplug the one and plug in the other. That's pretty much it. That's the electronic scoring. Describe.